friends after a long back i have come back uh, again for the topic of your interest and uh, on this channel so let's uh, solve few more questions on trigonometric functions tan 19 pi by 3 so here what we have to do is we just have to see if the numerator is greater in value than denominator and just we have to divide so 3 6 are 18 nearest multiple of the numerator so in that way we can break down this angle right so we can write this as tan of uh, 6 pi plus pi by 3 because uh, when we check it we get 19 pi only 3 6 are 18 pi plus pi by 3 is 19 pi by 3 so as we know value of uh, tan so as we know value of uh, tan is repeated after pi interval after every pi so here uh, again the value will be same so here this we can write it as and this is 360 plus theta that means first quadrant where all the trigonometric functions are positive sign so it is tan pi by 3 and pi by 3 is nothing but 60 degree so tan 60 is root 3 so root 3 is the answer for this question now let's uh, solve one more question uh, sin of Minus eleven pi by three. So here, uh, sine of minus theta is minus sine theta. So let us take out the negative sign minus sine eleven pi by three. Now, as I said in the previous question, that uh, as the as eleven is greater than three, and we find out the nearest multiple. Three four is a twelve, but twelve is more, so we will subtract the angle. So here we will write minus sine. And four pi minus pi by three because we want eleven, right? And three fours are twelve, and when one more pi is subtracted from twelve pi, it will be eleven pi only, isn't it? And here we can see this is nothing but uh, integral multiple of three sixty degree, isn't it? So three sixty minus theta. With the help of diagram, we can easily visualize C A S T. C A S T. So here. 360 minus uh, this complete is 360 degree minus theta means this fourth quadrant, isn't it? So here only cos and sec are positive. Remaining other trigonometric functions are negative. So this uh, sign will be negative in sign. So already one negative sign is there, and from this, from this, we get one more negative which makes it positive. So sine of pi by three. And pi by three is sixty degree, so sine sixty is we all know root three by two. So this is how we can find values of trigonometric functions at different different angles using the concepts of the Cartesian plane and their sines in the quadrants. In next video, we will solve some more problems based on finding the value of uh, angles of trigonometric functions, so that you understand uh, even more clear. Thank you and have a nice day